WordPress image upload errors can begin unexpectedly, or in some cases, after you make changes to your site. Either way, it takes some effort to find out why WordPress cannot upload images or videos and to resolve it. In this video, we are going to show you common image upload errors in WordPress and how to fix them. So the first error is when you cannot upload a particular file. If you are seeing this issue with one file but all others upload properly, then there are two easy solutions to fix this. So the first solution is to resize the image to solve image upload issues in WordPress. A particular image file may not upload because the image dimension is too large. To fix this, change your image size to make it smaller. You can do this with any image editor. Or even easier, simply use Pick Resize online tool to fix this issue. So the link for this image resizer is on the description below. And for more on this subject, you can check the link below on how to optimize your images for the web. Now let's move on to solution two. So the second solution is to rename the image file. If the file name contains special characters, such as these, you need to rename the image file to remove these characters and then upload media to WordPress. So the second error is when you get file size errors. This happens when the image you are trying to upload is larger than the file size limit for the uploads. For this error, uh, the first solution is to increase max file size. You can do that by updating the php.ini file inside your cPanel. Let's go ahead and do that. So there are three ways to edit your php.ini. The first one that we're going to do is by going to the, the multi-php ini editor. Click that. All right. You have two ways to edit the file size. One is with the basic mode and the other one is with the editor mode. In the basic mode, just select the domain that you're going to increase the file size. Example, uh, in my case, I'm going to choose my subdomain. All right, so scroll down. All right, so here is where you can change the values of these options. So for this one, we're going to change the upload max file size. So the value that you can put here ranges from 2 megabytes to 256 megabytes. So this one dictates how big an uploaded file can be. So I'm going to increase my limit to 64 megabytes. You can go higher than this, but it's not recommended that you go higher than 128 megabytes. All right, so after that, let's just click Apply. Oops, sorry, I put letter B. Let's remove that. Then click Apply again. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to show you how to increase the max file size on the editor mode. Just select the domain. We're going to put some code here, which is in this article from FixRunner, right here. Copy that. And go back and paste it here. Um, you can actually change these values according to your preference. After pasting that and changing the values here, just need to hit save. That's the first way to update your php.ini to increase max file size. And the other way is by going to your website's main folder, the home directory. So we're going to do that. So in cPanel, look for the file manager. Since I'm working on my subdomain and not the main domain, I need to look for the subdomain folder, which is this one. By the way, if you're working on the main domain, you need to select this. This is where the files for your main domain is located. Since I'm going to increase the, the file size of my subdomain, let's go to the subdomain. Click that. After you click that, go to My Admin. And this is where we will be editing the php.ini. So look for the php.ini. So as you can see, it's not here. So we're going to create the php.ini. 
On the upper left side of your screen, click the file button with the plus sign. And here, we're going to create the php.ini. So the naming convention is php.ini. Click create new file. Okay, let's look for that. All right, so it's been created. So at this point, this file is empty. So we need to put the same code that we copied from the fixed runner article, which is, by the way, I'm going to link on the description below. So right-click on this one, click Edit, and then click Edit again. It's going to bring us here. So this is where we're going to paste this code. All right, again, you can increase this one if, you're, if this is not enough for you. And then after, if you're satisfied, on the upper right corner, click Save Changes. We're going to get this success green button. All right, so we can close this now. So to check if we've successfully increased the max file size, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Click on Media and Add New. Okay, so it's successful. So this is the same value that we put in inside the php.ini file right here. So the third error is when you cannot upload and your media gallery shows blank images or you recently migrated to another host. If you have upload issues like this and instead of seeing proper images in your gallery, you see blanks, then the issue is likely from your upload folder. To fix this, you have to ensure your upload folder has the right permissions. Please note that you need an FTP account in order to do this. To learn how to create an FTP account, kindly check the description below. So let's change the file permission for the upload folder. To set the correct folder permission, you need to access your WordPress files using FTP. So open your FTP, log in. Next, locate your WP content folder and double click to open it. In this folder, locate your uploads folder, right click on it, and select file permissions. Set the numeric value to 744 and tick recurse to subdirectories. Select apply to directories only and click OK. Now reload your library to see if your images display. And then try uploading a file. Note that in some cases, setting to 744 may not fix your issue. If this happens, repeat the process, but this time set the permissions to 755. Now the error 4 is when you are getting a WordPress HTTP error when uploading. An HTTP error can be caused by a number of issues. The two most likely causes are 1. WordPress memory problems and 2. Multiple threads in your image processor. For this error, we have two solutions. Solution 1 is to increase the memory limit to solve image upload issues in WordPress. Solution 2 is to set the image processor to use one thread. So let's do the first solution. To increase the memory limit in WordPress, access your site using FTP again and open the folder containing your WordPress files. In this folder, locate and edit your WP config file to include the following code. Now this increases your PHP memory limit to 256 megabytes and would fix your WordPress HTTP error if its cost is memory related. For solution 2, let's go ahead and access our website using FTP again. Next, locate your HT access file and edit it to include the following configuration. All right, now try uploading an image to see if the error is fixed. Now, if all solutions for all four errors didn't work, here are other solutions for fixing image upload issues in WordPress. Solution one is to use a browser uploader. In your WordPress dashboard, go to media and add new. Next, click browser uploader. And then try uploading this way to see if it fixes your issue. Solution two is to clear cache if you are using a caching plugin. Some WordPress users have been able to fix this issue by simply clearing the cache on their caching plugin. If you are using a caching plugin, Try this to see if it fixes your issue. Now the third and the last solution is to disable plugins. In some cases, you can resolve image upload issues by disabling all your plugins and then gradually tracing the plugin causing the issue. 
To learn more on how to disable WordPress plugins using FTP, please check the link to that on the description below. Now that's the end of our tutorial. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down on the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click the like button. In case you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.